Good morning everyone. I just woke up actually uh, five minutes ago and because I woke up very very late so I need to take care of my mom breakfast. Yesterday we went to the hospital and we did everything up. Uh, I was going to say uh, I was going to tell you that later on and because my mom has a high uh, high what's that called uh, uh, she got high blood, let's put it this way, because I forget what that's called. So we're just having to get like panic yesterday of what like she was have a symptoms for stroke. So that's why I was like, that's the reason why I, get, I bring her to, yesterday to the hospital immediately. So luckily, we did her and everything's fine. But right now I'm going to make a... This one for her, for her breakfast, so she can take medicine. As you see, we used to do this one before, all the day, every day. And of course, the other same uh, days goes by, we forgot already. But I was just starting to make this one all the time. And uh, so right now, I'm just making this one for my mom and uh, so she can take breakfast. Okay, we going to our adventure for today. And of course, yeah, I'm going to bring my mudra because I need to watch her all the time. What she do? I need to do. I need to bring her all the time to monitor her. Where? We gotta go to the store anyway. Oh, look at this. Ayun ng araw nito. They're looking good. They're looking good. You see that? Okay, we gotta go to uh, no, to our Wigo. We gotta go to our Wigo now. Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Oi, 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 oi. Stay. Let's go. Stay here, okay? Mommy will be back, huh? Okay. So we're gonna take the issue. We're gonna make the issue. Everything's clear like this. As you see today, I don't really do a lot of things because I would like to do more uh, observing of my mother, which uh, I did a lot of things. I, mean, I tried to make her diet and things that she needs to eat. This one, and so I keep watching her. So I mean, it, uh, make it sure that everything is okay to her. But as you can see, yesterday, as already said earlier, we went to the hospital yesterday uh, at emergency hospital emergency because of her symptoms about her blood pressure. Her blood pressure make it higher yesterday for certain reason. Maybe the heat can make it to her. Um, so, we went there early because of her symptoms. So while we're in the hospital, this is what we're going to do when we go in there. We went there inside, which uh, I went there last one because I need to buy fish shield. Because there's certain, certain thing you're gonna deal with, which is to wear a face mask, but they also have, they only allowed you different kind of face mask that you can wear and um, while you get to wear like a clothes piece, uh, face mask is not allowed because they said a uh, surgical mask is only allowed to go enter the hospital so we went out uh, I just buy what I need and then go inside so we went in there just talk to this person and they told me oh she needs to be confined because she already had the symptoms so they can monitor her so I told that per I told to this person okay then I asked some questions, so here's the deal. Over her few years ago, when I was like, it, I don't really ask things, but luckily, now and then, that's why sometimes I was to say thankful for Brian because now I learn how to ask things and I expect the answer that I want to. So there's a, like, there's a, a, like, I ask different questions, I ask this and I ask that. I said the, the first uh, question I'd ask, I asked to this woman, like I said, if I allow her to go to confine, what did she do? Do you need to put her right now to the room? And this, how much is the room? I said, no, because we're going to do scanning. So scanning. I said, what is this the scanning about? She said, oh, she needs to do for the rapid test first. I said, no, 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 you listen to me. I don't really believe in rapid test at all. First of all, I have experience on rapid test. Few months ago, we went to this rapid test that you're talking about, and then five of us went there. Three of us result positive, and two of us result negative. The next day, the same, the, uh, the next day, the same month, different date, we went to the other hospital, and we in there, 
did the swab test and the result is negative. So you tell me that the rapid test is false information, which a lot of you use still using it. Maybe that's the reason why we still have a lot of cases. A lot of people can afford to pay swab test. First of all, swab test is not expensive. I said to her, it's okay if I'm just harvest like my mom is growing up in the tree, but it's not. So there is a lot of people who's having fear because every single time we come here, why we need to stick with this kind of things, which I come here, we came here for the symptoms. As she said earlier, she have the symptoms of high blood pressure because her high blood pressure was too high, which 220. That's why you said she get the dizziness because of high blood pressure. So why we need to go in here and if she turn positive, they will turn around and go to the insulation area. What is the insulation area in there? There's an aircon, there's a desk. If there's just only electric fan, then she's going to get more high blood pressure over there because that's the reason why she get high blood pressure because of the humidity. And she was saying, oh, because that's a rapid test, they have certain hours that you need to take it. No. You're wrong, because according to them, when we end there, they said to us, you can go any time you want. It's not they said they don't have, they don't say there's a certain hours. They said you can go any time you want, any places you go. And they said to me, uh, we're just, uh, we just want to make it sure that Everything was uh, under this and I can understand that but first of all, I'm not here for the COVID things I came here for her blood pressure as you said and then it's, so it's okay also If I can just definitely say whatever it was if I just like harvesting the money on the tree I don't have any problem, but I'm not harvesting money on the tree So why this that's the reason why there's a lot of people who are scared to go to the hospital and guess what? Sooner or later, they said, okay, we just like, I said to her, okay, let's put this way. Give her medicine. If her blood pressure will be down, then I will decide then. Then they give my mom medicine, ting. Then start uh, BP again. And then it's 180. I said, give more, one more. And then the other, they give another one, one more. Then it start like 140. Then I said to I asked to my mom, are you okay? And she said, yeah, yeah, I'm fine now. I don't have this and something like this and something like that. And I said to her, now it's become normal, back to normal. Now, can you give me the medicine? So she can have lifetime medicine. So right now we just have the lifetime medicine that she will get uh, all of her life. So I keep reminding her, you need to take it no matter what, every single day, because this is your lifetime medicine. And of course, don't believe what in province said because according to my province, as you see, provinces, they don't really believe in medicine. They still believe in herbal things, this, this, for some reason. They said, if you just drink this and drink that, medicine all the time can also cause your kidney problem, this and that and that and that. So there's a still a lot of in my province, don't believe medication, but they also believe in herbal things. So which is, it's up to them. But I said to my mom, don't worry about it. Just take it because that is your everyday life. That is your everyday lifetime medication for your high blood. So right now I'm just trying to still, I'm, I'm trying to take care of her and watch her for whole or like whole day and then make it sure that she's okay. But right now she's already okay and she's like, uh, she's she's very bad, she's better. I just told her just don't get the, the heat too much and then just goes inside the I know, uh, house and make a uh, aircon over there, it's more better. But there's also one story that I would like to say. I think today, 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 I just heard, I have the news today that happened about the vaccination the i think it's the three person the three person is the only one the nbi caught but of course there is outside inside job over there they're saying the three person is a nurse and two of them is a medic it's so sad to them that 
they do the same things because they would like to get easy money and quick uh, very quick to become rich which too bad because right now I think they're facing 10 years in jail or five years in jail five to, years. five to ten years and then they don't have any they get their license and now right now they don't have any job so what happened is they're just getting this vaccination and then on the table but on the government and they resell it to some person in the one box it's about one box 800,000 800, one box it's 800,000 so that's a lot of money that's a lot of money 800,000 for one box divided by 48 if it's one box it costs 16,000 US of 16 thousand US dollar 800,000 pesos over here for one box so they they get two box and actually it's not their first time actually actually they've been doing that since before this vaccine was already uh, issue but they're just caught today and just like today I say that's that's owned by the government but somebody will stole it and resell it and that's what happened they caught the three person but i know from the fact that's not the only three person who was involved there is involved inside the government office over there because why that medication went outside and they can easily get it without the uh, without the help of any involved inside the pallet uh, inside the government of course there's somebody in there who stand it but we never know who it is, right? This is the land of already known as corruption country. So, but people will, when you see that, they will say, ah, oh, that's not true. Yes, it is. You just don't accept the fact, no matter who you put over there, no matter how good the person you put over there, because you can't control people around you from the bottom to the top. No matter who's the person in charge, they still people was greedy and the greediness is their priority to make quick money to get rich that's why they choose to be corrupt they don't care about their country they don't they don't care how they they don't care how to be uh they don't proud on their own country all they need to care is to get them rich quick and that's the reason no matter where you go anywhere you any here you go as i said even though the president can do anything he might be not a good he might he might be not a corrupt but at, at the other side of his back some do some do even though like cop, captain and everything is the same so you can't trust anybody it comes to like this so that's about it for today that's what i heard the news actually i don't really watch it full but I heard that there's just only two bucks was already uh, captured, but we never know what's the real story about it. All I know is just a shame that this person was have a nice job, a perfect job. They just don't know how to be contented because they're just like to, they wants to reach quick so they can find something uh, illegal way to get them rich quick the problem is they caught today so that's about it for today thank you so much as i said today is just a talk video and of course of course before i forgot people will ask how much do we spend in the hospital bills of my mom which i only spent 16 bucks 16 dollars for her visit in emergency room the two medication that i paid and also the other one that's for her heart uh, cardiac something like that and also tomorrow we're going to go back for her uh blood test and i told her don't eat this one so we can know what's the real problem of her and what kind of things she needs to avoid so she can have a perfect healthy lifestyle that's about it for today thank you so much everyone thank you thank you there's too many flies thank you thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel 
push the button below for notification. Until next time, stay safe and of course, stay healthy. Before I go and turn this off, let's check my girls. There you go. There is my girls. They make their own ice cream yesterday and right now, or last night and right now, they're eating their ice cream. That's about it. See you next time.